So hi guys and welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed this this time lapse build video. I do know that I really enjoyed building this little fellow. It's really nice. So what we will do now is we will do a review of the build. I will show all the components in detail into the camera. I will have a complete build list in the video description. So check that if you want to know what exactly I used. And after that I will talk about how it flies and we will put it on the onto the scales of course. <clears throat> so let's see what we have here. As you can see uh, for motors I use this this motors, this this are 13 or 6 motors with 3100 kV. The props here, let's put it like that, those are the jump fan props with uh, the jump fan 4045 props which give it a really really good thrust. So it's really nice, I like it. You can see as the ESCs, we use the little b 20A ESCs, e -C. uh, of course you will not need 20A with that machine, but it's they are very small, they are very lightweight and it's always good to have some, some buffer, you know. <clears throat> and then let's move on here onto the, the, the PDP which you can see here on the bottom. So let's just try to bring this into focus, yeah. So the PDP here on the bottom is the Matac PDP, which I will also link in the description. <coughs> and as you can see, I haven't used any connectors. Everything here is directly uh, soldered, which is to save weight, of course. On top of the PDP, you can see the nays. So I got one of the regular NACE Revision 5 controllers for this because they were very cheaply available on Hobby King a few weeks ago. So this is this is really nice. And on top of that here you can see that's my, my free sky receiver, that's the D4R2, which we all like to use. So what else do we have here? Here on the bottom we see that's a regular <coughs> Uh, uh, video transmitter. It's the EA Shine video transmitter. You can get those in. Uh, you can get those in both 25 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts. So you can decide what is legal for you. You can see I should have done this better because I had to tilt it a bit to mount it this way because of this standoff here. So I could have done this nicer. But this is glued in, this is very stable, so it's glued in right at this connector. I will see how it holds up. Uh, I can assume that maybe the connector might come loose, but so far it works really well. You see, I used some super glue with that to put that in, so so far it's okay. And also this antenna here, which I will also link in the description, is completely screwed on. So there is, there is no problem here with the antenna and this is also a very small antenna as you can see because I want that to have this uh, a very a very lightweight build. And finally on the front we don't have one of these cheap CMOS cameras that's a full size CCD camera that's the EA channel let's see if you can see it well <coughs> yeah from here that's the EA Shine CCD camera. That is a CCD camera, so it doesn't come with all the disadvantages of the CMOS cameras. So there's a full size CCD camera in it. Uh, the weight of it is, of course, a little higher than these small CMOS cameras which are available now, but I wanted to have a CCD camera in this build, which is simply better than the CMOS cameras. Okay, so this is the frame itself. I will put it back onto the bench and as I said I wanted to keep it lightweight so I have decided to use one of these lipos for it that's a 3 cell 500 milliampere lipo it comes with a <coughs> regular C rate of 35 C and can go to 45 C in bursts so that is sufficient for this build I have tested it and the nice thing about this one is it's pretty lightweight. And this also uh, brings us to the really interesting part of this build review. So what is the weight of this ZMR 180 build? So let's take a look at this. Just put my scales here. 
for this purpose I have also prepared a second lipo which is actually the same lipo uh, with the only difference I have removed all the stickers from it to save some more weight even if it's only a gram <laughs> uh, why did I do this? you will see it right now so this is the same lipo which we saw before let's put this lipo on here and see what we get And yes, pretty amazingly, this wasn't planned as such, but we arrive at exactly 249 grams, including everything for this build, even including the straps, which will hold the battery in place. So I have added nothing to it. I already did some test flights with it and it goes very well. Maiden flight will be in a future video because I just did some test flights inside my house but it goes very well it hovers at around well at well below half throttle it hovers at well below half throttle and during my flights in the house i got well over five minutes of flight time of course i could get more by simply adding a larger lipo but i wanted to keep that small and lightweight and 249 grams is, is such a nice number for this build so I hope you really liked this build review, this build. I really liked building it. Maiden flight will be next. You will get all of this. Uh, if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. The full build list, the full parts list is in the video description. And well, I really enjoyed that. I hope to see you soon uh, with another video. So thank you very much and see you soon.